Hey, I'm Cosmo Watts with Line 6, and I'm demonstrating uh, our one of our Dream Rig system, or our new FF, FRFR system. And FRFR stands for Full Range Flat Response. So we have a, a, an L3 speaker here. You can do it with an L2 just as well. These speakers are so cool because they sound just like your studio monitors. In fact, I've actually mixed on them before in the studio. And you can put it live on a gig because it's up to uh, 800 watts on the L2 and, and 1200 watts on the L3s. Uh, we have a Pony C500X on the bottom, which can actually control the speaker modes on the back of here. So you have full range flat response, acoustic guitar mode, electric guitar mode, keyboard mode, uh, uh, playback mode, and you can uh, save those in patches on the Pony C500X. As well as we have a James Tyler Variax guitar here, and uh, this has uh, models of pretty much every fretted instrument out there. And uh, you can control all the changing of the models and the tuning from the Pod HD500X. So we have a patch here, which is a drop D acoustic guitar. And then I can switch to the next patch, which can be on this one is uh, Here Comes the Sun uh, tuning. So what I did here is I assigned pitch uh, on the Pod HD 500X to the tone control on the James Tyler Variac. So you can set up your tone control or volume control to control any parameter on the Pod HD 500X, which is kind of fun. They talk to each other and and they all. And here's a, a nice little mandolin patch. On this one, we've actually turned off the four, the fifth string and the sixth string, and put it in mandolin tuning. nice mandolin and mandolin tuning and next we have a uh, five string banjo and banjo tuning so you can get all the and again no six string on here nice little banjo sound Here's a cool example of something you can do with the James Tyler Variax and the Pod AC 500X. We actually have this in open G tuning on a Telecaster with no six string, which is exactly the way Keith Richards uses his Tele, no six string. He doesn't literally put one on. In this case, we just turn it off, so we have... Keith Richards sound, instant Keith Richards. Uh, this is a cool little sound. This is an acoustic guitar in Nashville tuning. And Nashville tuning has a uh, the fourth, fifth, and sixth string are an octave higher, so it gives you that almost a 12 string guitar sound. So That's used in Nashville a lot just to add body to a song. And that's kind of fun thing. Here's another cool patch. I can control the coursing with the tone knob or the delay with the volume knob. <laughs> so a fun patch there. Uh, here's a. Uh, this is a Stevie Ray Vaughan patch for Cold Shot. It's actually a, a half step down, which he always uh, tuned uh, half step down. And then has his uh, Leslie speaker on in that. Um, here's a, uh, a really nice jazz patch. So that's a Super 400 uh, gu uh, guitar and uh, nice jazz uh, amplifier sound on that. Here's one with bass. So you, I actually had the fifth and sixth string down an octave on that, so it simulates a bass sound here, a dobro. Uh, nice dobro sound, here's like a really cool.
acoustic guitar sound, more of a classical sound. <laughs> guitar and then uh, baritone guitar and all this is just instant you know I get uh, good Marshall sound ACDC sound uh, here's a, a nice nice country guitar sounds uh, and uh, nice 12 string. To a uh, more distortion sound. Here's a. Rick and Backer 12 string. So you have almost any kind of sound that you possibly can think of strumming acoustic guitars. And this changes everything on here, the tunings, the model on it, and uh, here, let's do it. Everybody likes to hear this sound, because this is like one of the... Nice sitar sound. And then... Nice rock and roll sound. So basically, that's a small little demonstration of what you can do with uh, with our FRFR speakers, L3 in this case, or L2, Pod HD 500X, and a James Tyler uh, Variax guitar. These guitar come in uh, three different uh, styles: uh, a single cutaway, more of a Les Paul type style. This is more of the Strat type style. And this one has the humbucker on it, which is really nice. And we have. Uh, um, this is actually a top of the line USA one, which this gentleman is really lucky to have. This here, made in the USA. We also have uh, have them made in Korea as well that, that are less expensive. Uh, both of them have the same electronics. Uh, finishes on on the USA ones are better, better machine heads on it, and a few other little upgrades on it that make it well worth it. And um, that's it. Where can people get it? They can buy it right at JRR Shop. <laughs> and that address is. And, I don't. Uh, JRRShop.com. Oh yeah, the <laughs> the URL JRRShop.com. They can buy the whole rig here. <laughs>